G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from martysgarden.com.au. Welcome to another exciting video today. This one is super awesome because it's about the sawdust that I'm harvesting locally and then turning into compost. It makes an unreal worm bedding. It grows plants like no tomorrow in the garden beds using pots and all different types of things. It is absolutely awesome. So more of a deep view into that and a behind the scenes thing about surfing. You see, I'm not always growing plants. I love the outdoor life and surfing is my favorite sport. So take an inside view into this vlog slash style compost sawdust video. I hope you enjoy it guys. Watch the video inside to find out more. Have some fun along the way. Marty's garden is all about compost worms, composting, farming worms indoors and out, and growing some of the most awesome food around. You can learn how by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Welcome world to the Marty's Garden Show. Wow, the waves are absolutely cracking. So I gotta get a quick surf in before I go to work. Run down the beach, quick paddle out the back, and ride some of these boomers. So I just had a super fun surf at the beach, but now I've gotta go pick up some sawdust for my compost and for my worms. Now this stuff really is the bomb, and it's definitely worth the 45 minute drive to go pick it up. It's a local source, it's recycling, and it's 100% for free. And I got it. Yep, after a quick trip to the local sawmill, I'm home now with my recycled sawdust. Now I've got to say, this stuff is the bomb, and my compost worms, they absolutely just love it. This is what I'm using a wide variety of recycled hardwood timber. And by taking this waste off their hands, I can turn it into an amazing resource and stop this from going into local landfills. Gee, that stuff's dusty. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. It's a stick up. I look like an Aussie bush ranger, don't I? <laughs> Just kidding. This is actually the sawdust mask, guys. You gotta wear it when you're working with this stuff. It's like, it's gonna get into your lungs and affect your respiratory system and all that. And make sure you use one of those. Don't throw it away all the time. You can recycle it over and over. Now, another thing about sawdust is it's really tricky to get the water into it. You need to just keep continually wetting it down. And make sure when you're working with it, always to wear that mask. Don't forget because all of a sudden you hit a dry spot, it goes and it just puffs up, especially like the dust. If you can find the shavings, that's much better and easier to work with. But I can't always get that and maybe you can't too. So it does make an awesome starter. So for your compost to add other things to it later and the worms go ballistic on it. There's lots of energy in that because Basically, it's wood, right, that's been growing in the sun, and it's just sucking in all those rays and turning it into energy. That's how we get fire, and the worms and the compost and microbes, everything go through it and turn that into great stuff for your plants. So this is one of my tomato cuttings. It's actually a black cherry tomato, an heirloom-style plant, and I absolutely love it. And I strike this from a cutting from the mother plant. Now, so far, I've done six cuttings and I've had 99.9%, well, basically 100% strike rate, guys. And look at the little root coming out of there at the bottom. So that means it's ready to go into another container. Now, once the root gets like that, I've got a little trick here that I do. I've got a little bit of worm cast and rock minerals in here, and I put that down in there so it soaks through the water and gives the plant a little bit of a feed. It's striked in coffee compost. So this is the sawdust mix that you saw before, blended down with the coffee and a little bit of manures. And I'm getting great success with it. So I'm not gonna stop using the sawdust to grow plants. When you're getting success, right, you just stick with a good thing. I'm on a good thing, I believe.
that, they're my gloves. So I've got Karen's gloves on. Sorry, darling. I just couldn't find my ones. But anyway, look, we're here in the worm nursery area. This is pretty exciting because inside here is sawdust bedding made with compost and a few other little manures and things like that. It's pretty exciting to see. Now, I haven't opened these in a very long time. I'll just give them a bit of moisture. And I think it's been about three weeks since that time. So let's pull them out and have a look and see what we've got in here. See what this coffee compost with sawdust. Oh, there's a little worm there. See him in my thumb there? Right there? Can you see him? Oh, yeah, I can see him. And it's pretty good stuff. And we'll just pull out another handful and around the... Let's see, around the banana skin, because I like to feed my little baby worms banana skins. And that's really messy in there. But it, there's a little worm there, just there. Look, they call them wisps. Next to my thumb there, you can see him wiggling. So he would have just come out of the cocoon, that one. So that means that now in spring, everything's looking pretty good in here. And what I really like about this type of compost, made with the sawdust and the coffee, and a little bit of manures is that it really holds a lot of moisture and it's very nutrient dense and it's still sort of breaking down in the end even though it's not hot and it gives them a lot of food and the plants that grow in it are sensational and look I've just got this in a little bucket like this and so any water that drips through runs through now there's around about 1,000 cocoons in each one of these and I'm, well, if I have success, I could get around about 1,000 worms in each one in my sawdust coffee compost. And I'm pretty happy about that. What do you think about this, Karen? Mm, it's okay. It's okay? Bit boring for you, huh? Yeah. You're very good on the camera, though, doing the shots. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dad. Good morning everybody to the North Haven Board Riders event on the Sunday morning of the 13th of October 2019. We're up to uh, contest number 10 of the season and we've got about a four to five foot swell running and this looks pretty gnarly out there guys so take care, get the waves and enjoy. My heat and I just can't get out there quick enough. Wish me luck as I'm gonna need it. And no, I didn't win, but geez, it was fun. So I highly recommend if you can get hold of chemical-free sawdust from a local mill or somewhere that's working with timbers, go and ask if you can take it off their hands and they will more than likely say sure because it's a problem for them. They need to get rid of it and they know that it's an extra cost to their business. So they're more than happy for you to pick it up and throw it in the truck. Remember, it gets a bit dusty, so you need to work with it and keep wetting it down like I've shown you in the video. Now, I'll mention that again because that is so important. And then you start getting the coffee, start mixing that into it, get some old manures and other things and just start turning it over every two or three days. And you'll be surprised you'll be growing amazing tomatoes, chilies, strawberries, oh man, flowers, all different types of stuff, and you are doing the world a favor by keeping it out of landfills. Now, if you love this video and you wanna see more like this educational stuff about growing fresh food fast in urban places and small spaces and composting and worm farming and all that really cool funky stuff, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so you stay notified before you go. Have a great day, happy gardening, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye for now.